concerned about the well-being of humankind as a result of the disastrous impact of climate change, our association members from different countries in Africa organized and hosted the Be Organic Vegan to Save the Planet live video conference in the largest city and capital of Togo, the city of Lome, on May 9, 2009. Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously accepted the invitation to be the guest of honor and shared her insights on the issue. Approximately 2,000 participants from all walks of life attended the conference, including important personages such as Mr. Ahume Sunu Silegoji, Secretary to the Presidency, Mr. Leandre Gebenyeji, Representative of the Mayor of Lome, Mr. Kwabina Owusuk Akimpong, Deputy Minister of Tourism from Ghana, Thomas Tuk, representative of the Cameroon community, Dr. Kwasi Ofe Agiemong, the much respected vegan naturopath, and Togo's famous singer, Vanessa Waro. The Be Organic Vegan to Save the Planet was broadcast live on Nana FM, Nostalgie, Sport FM in Togo, Hot FM in Ghana, and Tokpa FM in Benin. In appreciation of artistic contribution during the Be Organic Vegan to Save the Planet conference, Supreme Master Ching Hai sends gifts to all performers. For their heartfelt performance, Supreme Master Ching Hai sends her number one international best-selling books, The Dogs in My Life, The Birds in My Life, and The Noble Wilds to the Children. We now invite you to join us for the rebroadcast of the live video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled Be Organic Vegan to Save the Planet, held on May 9, 2009 in the city of Lome, Togo. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. The next question is from Madame Afiwa PPV Londonukwapo. She is a teacher, research director of the Institute of Information Science of Communication and Art at the University of Lomé. Welcome, madame. <laughs> Merci pour ce que vous faites pour sauver la planète. Ma question concerne le sevrage. La période de sevrage est un moment difficile dans la vie du nourrisson. Pourriez-vous nous donner des conseils ou un exemple de menu végétalien convenable pour les bébés? Thank you, Madam Director, Professor Lodonu Kapakpo. Thank you for your concern, yes, <laughs> about the health of the precious youngest ones. The vegan menu is one of the most easily digestible in the whole world. And the only one we should give to the babies and to ourselves. And the most easily available. Even from our backyard, we can cultivate that. Also, by feeding our baby the vegan diet, we can protect our child from many of the allergens and toxic substances that are often part of the meat-based diet. Being entirely natural, it is so easy to transition to the vegan diet. As for a menu, you can choose foods that are easy to obtain, uh, nutritious and fresh. Fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, and some others in the vegetable kingdoms are fine selections. If you have internet access, professor, you can go to www.vrg.org. That is the website for the U.S. organization named Vegetarian Resource Group with guidelines and vegan recipes for babies. Please contact our association members in near your hometown if you need more help for the websites of Vegetarian Diet for Babies. Yes. And uh, on our website, www 
www.supremastertv.com we have also offer many information concerning other websites you are free to download any of them the benefits of a vegan diet are evident even before the child is born the studies in both the united states and the united kingdom found that uh, expectant mothers who were vegan basically have no morning sickness This is because their bodies did not have to protect itself from the toxic effect of substances such as meat, which researchers discover is one of the causes for morning sickness. As the body is trying to ward off their harmful effects, Dr. Reed Mangos of the Vegetarian Resource Group wrote a vegan nutrition guide for babies. The research indicates that vegetarian children tend to get more vitamins and minerals than children who are not. Moreover, the early start with this nutrient-rich daily diet means that the potential long-term benefits are that much greater. Namely, Vegetarian babies and children grow up with higher resistance to illness. And from a food allergy perspective, the vegan diet immediately eliminates four out of eight or 50% of the top known allergens from your child's diet. These are milk, eggs, fish and shellfish, all of which can cause lifelong or fatal health problems. So starting our child out in life with a vegan diet could be one of the biggest gifts we can give as parents. To find a vegan menu for a child who is just beginning on solid foods, you can go to the website www.vrg.org. Or you can check with any of our association members who would be glad to help you find this information. Thank you for your valuable question. And good luck with the baby diet. Thank you, Master. European Parliament supports reducing meat to lower greenhouse gases. Roll call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, the Climate Committee of the European Parliament officially recognized livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. The European Parliament has adopted its own position on climate change as an institution and as a Vice President. One of the proposals I have made is in line with your own, which is that we should eat far less meat because that's one of the major sources of greenhouse gases. We know that uh, the agriculture and uh, the meat uh, production is one of the main cause of gas emission. And so it's very clear that the ratio per habitant of meat has to decrease. My name is Jan Solm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg. Go green, save the planet. Next question from Mr. Pono Mauli, Intendant at the University Canteen. Merci pour la lumière que vous nous apportez à travers cette visioconférence. Certains végétariens mangent du poisson et des œufs. Avec la situation urgente du réchauffement de la planète, pensez-vous que ce genre de régime est un moyen efficace pour résoudre le problème? Merci. No, sir, I do not, Monsieur Capono. But thank you for raising this important issue. Thank you, sir. It may seem like a small thing to some people, 
But a fish is still alive. A fish is not a vegetable. And as we have already discussed, the marine ecosystem is in big trouble right now from global warming already. For the fishing will only make matters worse. Also, mercury poisoning causes problems to aquatic life even before it gets to the humans. These are things we need to address in trying to save our planet, not to talk about our health also. Eating fish will definitely not help this. The way we are going now, we are literally emptying the oceans of certain fish plus tons of other fish caught along with them by accident. The bycatch that are just thrown away. So if those fish are all gone, we will see a catastrophic loss of other marine species as well. The coastal ecosystems will also be affected greatly by diseases and algae blooms that release toxins. The ocean is a wonderful recycler that normally can purify the water and create nutrients and turn carbon dioxide into oxygen, etc. Isn't that wonderful? It's like miracle. The ocean is a miracle. But if we ruin ecosystems through overfishing, this will spell disaster for us. So speaking for the environment, Fishing for food is not the answer at all. As for eggs, there is nothing sustainable about them. Most of the eggs consumed today come from factory farms, where thousands of female hens are crowded together in dangerously filthy, infectious conditions, and diseases like salmonella and E. coli are prevalent. The uh, ammonia that comes from their waste is a big water and air pollutant, and it causes respiratory problems in humans. And uh, many people do not know of the cruel treatment received by the hens, who, because of their close confinement, get bruised and lose their feathers. They cannot even spread a wing, and they must also endure the stress of having their sensitive beaks cut off with hot blades and nothing to numb the pain even when they are babies. Can you imagine the suffering? Eggs uh, have also been shown to be extremely unhealthy, so there is absolutely no need to eat them anyway. Uh, One U.S. study with 14,000 adults found that just adding one egg a day to the diet increased the risk of heart failure by 23%. Vegan products, by contrast, are completely cholesterol-free and healthy for all our internal organs, for our mind as well. A healthy body house a clear mind. It's better for our body, for our conscience, for our mind, and for the planet to stay away from both fish and eggs. No animal products at all. That is the best way. We should be vegan. Thank you, Mr. Capono. God bless you. Thank you, Master. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Swine flu, Ebola reston virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, Salmonella. Bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pig's disease, or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating, infertility, 
Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer, colon rectal cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming, plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease, linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis, classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. The next question is from Mr. Cecil Ferdinand. He is Assistant Regional Director of CEB. Benin. Bonjour, Maître. Bonjour. Merci pour le rôle de leader que vous jouez pour la promotion d'un devenir meilleur pour notre environnement. Merci, Maman, pour ton amour sans frontières. Merci, Maman, pour ta compassion pour toute vie manifestée sur terre. Nous sollicitons la lumière de la sagesse pour la question suivante. Est-ce que le régime végétalien peut nous aider à éliminer ou à réduire nos mauvaises habitudes pour la dépendance à la drogue, à l'alcool ou aux cigarettes. Merci, maman. Si, Director Sessou. Yes. From what I understand of these uh, harmful substances, reducing them is not enough. We should eliminate them altogether. The damaging effects of tobacco and alcohol are very severe, and they affect others as well. These effects have been well documented medically and scientifically. There is so much cancer associated with tobacco, and not just for the smoker, but also for the people who have to breathe the smoky air. Uh, second-hand smoke, they call it, and even third-hand smoke. For example, the smoke that still stick to the curtains in the room or the sofa and the clothes affect also children. They call it third-hand smoke even. So it is truly a death sentence. A recent study found 81% of the babies who die from the tragic so-called sudden infant death syndrome 
You have heard of it. These were exposed to secondhand smoke. You see, we could kill the babies just by smoking. This is how deadly it is, how cruel it is to our family members and to ourselves to bring such harmful, toxic substance into our precious body, the temple of God. So we should quit smoking. We should eliminate tobacco altogether from this world. And also alcohol, we already know, has taken many, many lives too young and causes so many problems, so much sorrow and heartaches. Again, not just for the drinkers, but also for those around them, for their loved ones. So my feeling is, sir, these substances need to be removed from our lives completely. I am very glad you are asking this question for the benefit of everyone else. I have mentioned some time ago that uh, one can overcome any bad habit within 21 days. So it is possible to quit cigarettes, drugs or alcohol during that time. But during that time frame, the person, the addicted person, must keep occupied with constructive things like their favorite hobbies, spending time with good friends and supportive people, and other favorite constructive, uh, pleasant activities to keep our minds occupied and our body uh, relaxed without the addictive substance. So one of the activities could be finding ways to make delicious vegan food, invent some new recipes, do exercise, go to meditation class, do yoga, etc. According to Dr. Gabriel Cousins, a vegan medical doctor in the U.S., who has helped many people quit smoking and alcohol for good, and overcoming this habit is easier with a fresh organic vegan diet. These foods balance the brain's chemistry so that it functions best, which also can help the addiction to subside. Moreover, other scientific research has found that the alcoholic beverages and meat tend to make cigarettes taste better. But fruits and vegetables make them taste less appealing. So uh, the vegan diet is the perfect solution for quitting smoking. Some people have said this uh, in general, that uh, when they begin eating more healthily, the bad things they used to find appealing simply are not anymore. Thank you, sir, for a good question. Thank you for coming all the way from Benin. Thank you, Master, for the answer. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol, 2.3 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide, cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion U.S. dollars in the United States, up to 210 to 665 billion U.S. dollars globally. Disease, higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum, liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes, 
birth defects, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage. Alcohol-related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases, violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases, suicides, 20 to 50% of cases, plus more. Some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Costs of 181 billion U.S. dollars each year in the United States. 33 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Harmful effects. Brain damage. Stroke. Heart disease. Liver disease. Tuberculosis. Emphysema. Cancer depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for health care, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco, 5.4 million smoking-related deaths per year worldwide. Cost of smoking-related illnesses, 96 billion US dollars in the United States alone. Light and mild cigarettes just as harmful, causes cancer and diseases in animal companions. Speeds the aging process, toxic residues of third-hand smoke. Heart disease, coronary thrombosis, cerebral thrombosis, kidney failure, cancer, lung cancer, esophagus cancer, kidneys cancer, bladder cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence, additional harms for secondhand smoking, sudden infant death syndrome, infertility, miscarriages and premature deliveries, childhood asthma, bronchitis, ear infection, cleft lip or palate, hyperactivity and aggression in asthmatic boys, circulatory problems in women, plus more. I will ask the next question on behalf of Mr. Daniel Kwame Hagbale, who is Chief Division Supervision of Prefectures and Regions at the Ministry of Territorial Administration. And the question is, charcoal is an energy source regularly used in Africa, mostly in household activities, because it's cheaper compared to gas. However, its use has caused many parks to be deforested and not reforested, while the burning of charcoal also increases air pollution. Please, Master, could you give us advice about other energy sources that 
will be affordable and could help us avoid deforestation and air pollution. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Chief Daniel. Yes, I understand. And I am glad people such as yourself are concerned about uh, preserving our forest. We must protect the trees as much as we can. According to the environmental organization Greenpeace, 8% of the Earth's forest-related carbon is stored in the vast rainforest of the Congo River Basin in uh, Central Africa. Scientists uh, predict that uh, continued deforestation of the Congo will release the same amount of CO2 as the United Kingdom emitted over the last 60 years. Imagine that. So it is important to preserve the forest while we still can, because it helps in addressing global warming. Other alternative could be used to avoid deforestation is something called green charcoal or biochar, which has been introduced in Senegal. Uh, this is made from agriculture waste products, is affordable and prevents deforestation. It also absorbs CO2 as well, which is why climate scientists support the use of it. It absorbs the CO2 very well. So this is one alternative. And of course, if possible, you can use a sustainable energy alternative such as solar oven cooker, which is safer and causes no air pollution at all. So these are just some examples of affordable energy sources we can try and share with one another. I'm sure there are more. Um, you can do some internet research to see any better solution up to date, yes. But the most important and most urgent once again is the veg diet, V-E-G diet. This is the good deed that you can do to help save the planet as a whole, because this will most quickly reduce global warming. And it's not just that. Truly, being veg is not just about reducing greenhouse gases. It is about stopping the suffering of the animals and their cruel inhuman mistreatment. We have to be noble species. We have to be noble human beings. This is what is it all about. We have to stop the inhuman treatment of animals. And if we in Africa join together to be vet, we will be blessed by all the heavens. Please spread the good solution info. Thank you, Mr. Daniel, for your good question. God bless you. Thank you, Master, for your answer. You're welcome. Vegetarianism in Religion The Baha'i Faith Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Gaudai The most important thing is to stop killing because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. 
Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adilila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the quiet way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. The next question is from Mr. Kudahe Kwasi. He is the director of the institution Microfinance Copec Solidarity in Togo. Supreme Master, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Nous vous aimons beaucoup pour votre engagement en faveur de l'humanité. Merci. Ma question est que il est montré clairement que c'est le régime végétalien qui va sauver ce monde. Mais nous qui sommes dans l'ancien régime, par où commencer pour changer le régime alimentaire de nos entourages et de nos populations. Pratiquement, est-ce que vous pouvez nous montrer les différentes étapes à suivre Merci beaucoup, Supreme Master. Yes, Monsieur Kudai. I will be glad to. <laughs> Thank you for your understanding and your wish to change the diet of the communities for the better of our planet. Better health, more energy, more happiness, more protection. Everything is for our benefit. Well, we can begin where we have the most influence with uh, ourselves and our home. After that, we can quickly get the community more interested, especially in practices like uh, growing organic produce for two reasons. Uh, one is that uh, these uh, methods are very effective and show yields in a short time that can benefit many people and less work even. <laughs> the other is that these kinds of community gardens have also been used to supplement people's livelihoods 
saw the benefit of growing and eating fruits and vegetables is evident and easy to see. Uh, you can also share SOS Veg Solution Flyers to help awaken others, as well as uh, write letters to the government and media. On a more local level, again, you can sponsor a cooking class. This will help people understand just how easy it is to cook delicious and nutritious veg meals for themselves and their families. Uh, all of these things help. You do what you can, Monsieur Kudai. We are all doing what we can right now. We do our best to help people to understand the true value and benefit of being veg, to save the planet for ourselves and all the other divine creations we hope to preserve. Thank you for being here with us. And I pray we all join this best, most beneficial of vegan diet trend to save our planet for ourselves and our children. Thank you, Supermaster. J'avoue que c'est une conférence très enrichissante dans la mesure où le réchauffement climatique touche tous les pays, aucun pays n'est épargné. Mais force est de constater qu'en Afrique, nos dirigeants n'ont pas encore pris conscience de ce problème. Alors à travers cette conférence, j'ai appris beaucoup de choses que je ne savais pas. Par exemple, la présence d'un club de, de végétaliens au, au campus alors que je suis présente sur l'Université de Lomé depuis 4 ans. Je me dis que c'est une question de volonté. Si l'on sait l'avantage que procure un régime végétarien, l'on peut quand même fournir ce maximum d'efforts pour changer son régime. Alors je suis prête à changer mon régime et à devenir dans les jours à venir une végétarienne. Oui, c'est une très belle occasion pour lever certains préjugés qui courent dans le peuple togolais. Cela aidera le public à écarter certains doutes quant, à la, quant au bienfait de, du végétarien. Et tout ce que je connaissais avant même cette conférence et les éclaircissements et encore plus apporté et, et me donne une plus ferme conviction et à pouvoir mener ce, et cette vie, cette manière de vivre et que et la consommation des aliments d'une manière paisible envers notre environnement. Je pense que je, je pourrais bien le mener avec plus de détermination. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. It was a joy having you with us today for Words of Wisdom. Part 7 of this rebroadcast of the live video conference Be Organic Vegan to Save the Planet with special guest Supreme Master Ching Hai will air next Tuesday, so please tune in. Up next is a journey through aesthetic realms right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. May you have a blissful life under God's loving grace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash w-o-w.